Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from May 8th to the 16th. And this is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Sagittarius, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. All right, so recent past, current energy, near future. Your challenge for this week, Sagittarius, is the Five of Swords. Five of Swords. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Tower, okay, in reverse. All right. So your challenge for this week, Sagittarius, is the Five of Swords. Lots of competition. A lot of people trying to tell you what to do. You're trying to stand up for yourself. Here is what I'm getting. I'm going to clarify this card and see what else this um, is trying to tell you in the present moment. In the recent past, Sagittarius, you have the Nine of Cups, you have the Five of Pentacles, and you have the Six of Wands. I'm really getting here in the past that there was a situation where you felt abandoned or you felt like there was a there was a very strong disconnect here that happened. Maybe something, you know, wasn't um I feel like something wasn't really bringing you any prosperity. There wasn't really any um there's no growth here in the past, okay? There was a disconnect here. Poverty, maybe even for some of you. Okay. The good news here in the past is that a lot of you started to see your power that you had. You started to recognize what you needed to do for yourself, starting to take care of yourself, starting to put yourself first. Okay. It's like if, you know, if, if you were dealing with Sagittarius in the past, someone uh, abandoning you or leaving you, it's kind of, it was a bit of a blessing in disguise here in the past. Even though it doesn't seem like that, okay, maybe in the present moment, in the past it was a blessing in disguise because what this did for you in the past was it focused your ability or turned your ability towards you, towards yourself. Five, um, nine of Cups, okay? Oh, I need to take care of myself. Oh yeah, I forgot to do this for you know myself. This is what I need to do. A lot of you are really focused on another person in the past, whereas you needed to kind of shift that energy and focus more on yourself, okay? All right, so in the present moment, Sagittarius, you have the Knight of Wands, you have the Devil, and you have the Hanged Man. So for many of you in the present moment, you have the Knight of Wands. I'm really strongly getting here with the Knight of Wands that you could be um, very in and out of someone's life, okay? There could be a lot of lust, sexual energy here in the present moment, but it doesn't go beyond that. A lot of you want it to go beyond that. A lot of you are asking yourself, well, why doesn't this situation go beyond the sexual aspects of the connection? Someone here is not taking action and you're trying to figure out why this person isn't taking action towards you in the present moment, okay? We're gonna find out when we clarify. In the near future, you have the Empress, you have the Queen of Wands, and you have the Eight of Wands. So what I'm getting here in the near future is someone that you've been waiting on in the near future shows up, Empress Energy. This is someone who really has a lot of potential to grow with you, to really create something beautiful with you. You've been waiting for this person, and you've also been waiting for some sort of communication. I see the communication coming in, maybe a message that comes in for you in the near future that tries to get your attention. So we're gonna clarify what this message is, um, and we're gonna see what this person wants to say to you, or maybe, um, you know, what communication is gonna happen in the near future for you. So what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, we have the tower in reverse. We have the judgment in reverse. We have the knight of swords in reverse. We have the lovers in reverse. We have the ace of pentacles in reverse. And we have the two of wands in reverse. A lot of you are coming out of a separation, okay? There may have been a, a missed opportunity. There may be a missed opportunity when it comes um, to a love situation. There's something here in the near future you don't see. You don't completely understand why something is breaking down or why it has broken down in the first place. Okay, so what we're going to do, Sagittarius, is we're going to clarify the cards for you and we're going to see uh, what's going on. Okay, 
So the first card I'm going to clarify is the Five of Swords, your challenge for this week. So your challenge for this week is the Five of Swords, which is clarified by the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. Your challenge has a lot to do with some sort of um, choice that you have, possibly between two different people. Could be, um, I'm really getting an air, uh, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm also getting an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. There's definitely a decision that you have to make here about two specific individuals, okay? I feel like your challenge here is to cut somebody off with the Queen of Swords here. The Queen of Swords is all about cutting things off, cutting things out, things that do not serve her anymore. Um, a lot of you also, I'm getting your challenges associated with giving, okay? Either you've been giving a lot to someone or they've been giving a lot to you and the decision now um, is coming down to whether or not you wanna continue giving to this particular person or situation. So there's some sort of restructuring that's happening here this week in terms of how you deal with certain individuals in your life, okay? So in the recent past, Sagittarius, in the recent past, I'm going to clarify the five of pentacles because it's a little confusing here in terms of why it's showing up in the recent past. Tell me about the five of pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. For many of you, um, it's quite interesting because in the past there was a beautiful brand new beginning, possibly um, with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, could have been a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or another fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. There was a beautiful new beginning. You felt very confident when this person came around. There was also this fulfillment that you felt, but there was also a lot of lack. There was a lot of... Um, it's like, even though on the surface, Sagittarius, things seemed very amazing and great and beautiful with you and this person, there was one thing missing, okay? And this person could have um, left you or they could have completely abandoned you. And, you know, at that point, a lot of you said, well, maybe I need to just take care of myself. This person isn't around. They're not here to, um, to be there with me. If you see the Six of Wands, this person's on a horse alone by themselves. And the Nine of Cups is all about self-indulgence, focusing on oneself. Because why? Because this person couldn't give you what you wanted, Five of Pentacles. It was beautiful at the beginning. There was a lot of promises here, Eight of Wands, Ace of Cups. But that promise never really panned through the way that you wanted it to, okay? So there was a disappointment here in the past when it came to a specific individual that you had a new beginning with. Okay, so in the present moment, let's clarify the present moment. I'm going to clarify the um, Knight of Wands. Okay, I feel with the Knight of Wands, there's a very um, important message for you. You are the Knight of Wands in this case, and you are at the top of your reading here. So what is the important message for you, Sagittarius, in the present moment? What is the universe trying to tell you right now with the Knight of Wands energy? So the Knight of Wands is clarified by the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. So for many of you, you become closed off to a specific person, okay? I, I'm getting Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. You've been very in and out with this person. And the reason why a lot of you have been like this is because either this person has lacked taking action towards you or it's all about the um, physical aspects of the connection. A lot of you may want more than just the devil energy. You feel very connected to this person, but the problem is, is that it's not going anywhere. So you're very fickle with this person or you're not consistent with them. Let me clarify the devil. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn in the present moment or Pisces, I'm getting.
Okay, so the devil is clarified by the seven of wands. We have the king of swords and we have the six of cups. A lot of you are confusing love with lust, okay, in the present moment. You think you're in love with someone, but it's just lust, okay, or vice versa. Maybe someone thinks this of you. We have the king of swords and we have the seven of wands. You're, you're subconsciously, whether you're doing this consciously or not, a lot of you are pushing this person away because you want more than this. Whether you admit this to yourself or not, this is what the reading is saying, okay? A lot of you want more than what someone is giving you. You want more than just someone hanging out and hanging around. You want more. Why isn't this person taking action towards you, Sagittarius? Let's find out. Why the hangman in the present moment? We have the nine of swords in reverse, okay? You're trying not to worry about this person in the present moment, but it's very hard to ignore, why the hangman in the present moment? So the hangman is clarified by the nine of wands, the fool and the emperor. Yeah, a lot of you want to have a new beginning with this person. Okay, you definitely want stability. The problem here, nine of wands, you're not sure if you actually want to um, continue to hang around. You're not sure if you want to give this person another chance because you don't know if this person can really actually bring stability. Why? Because you haven't seen this person in action. You haven't been able to see this person really give you what you truly want in the present moment. And this is why things remain being in this place of lust. It's only sexual in the present moment. It's nothing more than that. But someone here is confusing the lust within this connection with love when it really isn't. So there's a lack of taking action. There's a lack of you expressing what you want in the present moment. There's an energy of being closed off here. And this is your challenge. This is a lot. Whatever's happening in the present moment, Sagittarius, has a lot to do with your challenge of you making a decision about whether or not you want to remain in this situation or you want to put um, back balance into this situation. Okay. So what's going to happen in the near future? Let's see for you. Okay, so there's a message coming in for you. There's going to be communication. Let's see what this communication is all about for you in the near future. What's this communication that's coming in for you? So the Eight of Wands is clarified by the Judgment, the Lovers, and the Page of Pentacles. This is someone here who, again, this could have been the person that left in the past. Someone who's very mature, someone who really can't offer you a lot, but they show up in the near future. There's communication from someone here that maybe you've kind of ignored or you've been disconnected from. I'm getting Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. You have lovers in judgment. In the near future, because you receive some sort of message or information or news, you start to really question this love. You start to really question the relationship. Is this really love? Is this really a relationship? Is this something that I really want? Hmm. Does this situation, Sagittarius, have the ability to grow the way that you want it to in the near future? I don't know. We're going to clarify and see. Before I clarify the Empress to see what the potential is here between you and this particular person that is on your mind, I'm going to clarify the Queen of Wands and I'm going to see what important message the universe has for you in the near future because there is an important message here for you. We're going to see what that message is. So the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Empress, the Four of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. What are you holding on to in the near future? Are you holding on to the idea that there is a potential here for growth? Or are you just holding on to just some sort of idea here? Okay. You are being called in the near future, Sagittarius, to really look within your intuition. Your intuition is going to tell you a lot about whether or not this is someone that you should continue to invest in your time and energy into, okay? Does this connection that you're thinking about a lot have potential? Is there a potential for things to grow? We're gonna find out, I'm gonna clarify and see why the Empress is here for you and what the message is about that. Tell me more about why the Empress is here in the near future for Sagittarius.
So the Empress is clarified by the Seven of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Cups, okay? In the near future, what you're being called to do, okay? This is not really saying much about your connection. I definitely see there's going to be an on and off with you in a particular water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Why? Because this person, they, they either they have a lot of options or you have a lot of options. I feel like this is a water sign that has a lot of options um, that may come towards you as if things are going to grow but i think what is being tested here because there is a test here in the near future a lot of you are dealing with someone that you really feel like you deserve more okay in the near future like i deserve more than this like come on what is this i want more okay um what you need to start doing in the near future or at least this is what the cards are indicating you're going to do is you're going to be starting to spend a lot more time on your own you're going to be starting to spend more time on your own and trying to determine what truly makes you happy what do you need to do to make yourself feel happy? You know, not relying on someone else to do this for you, but to really love yourself. And I mean, really love yourself. Okay. Whatever that means to you, this is what you're going to be doing because what the Empress is indicating here twice for you is, is that you need to look within yourself and figure out what needs to grow. Once you start to grow within yourself and become the best version of yourself, people are not going to come towards you in the page of Pentacles energy. They're not going to do that because nobody is going to, you know, Nobody is going to approach an empress who has invested a lot of energy and time into themselves. When you start to do that, Sagittarius, everybody else is going to look at you differently. Okay, so you're already doing it. Tower in reverse. You're already going through the realization. Some of you don't want to see the truth. You don't want to see the realization. You rather stay in the illusion, but you can only stay in the illusion for so long. Okay, this is the reality. So what I'm going to do is get some advice for you. A bit of an intense reading for you this week. I hope you got something out of it. Um, let's see what your advice is. What is your advice? What is your advice? You have a decision here. Okay, you have a decision. We have the two of wands. Um, we have the ace of pentacles and we have the lovers in order for you to get to this place of really feeling happy in love or in a relationship. Okay. You need to take the opportunity to disconnect from someone. If you feel very strongly that you're not getting what you truly deserve out of a situation, take a step back, take some time out. Okay. Focus on what you truly want and then go for it. Okay. This is the advice for you. And this is what I have. I hope this reading helped a bit of an intense reading. Um, yeah, I hope you got something out of it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.